A public lecture in Azaba has advocated the address of internal challenges facing power supply, quality healthcare, effective transportation system, and other utilities that improve business competitiveness, as this is key to curbing the brain drain in the country. The annual lecture themed Flight of Talent Navigating Nigeria's Brain Drain Predicament was held at the Unity Hall Government House, Asaba. Our correspondent Akoma Jero Friday reports that the resource persons from different sectors of the economy said that one of the consequences of the brain drain in the country is the depletion of human capital, which is essential to the nation's development. In summary, the consequences are is depleting the human uh, uh, um, manpower. So we need, we need to really look, go through the root of it and see what we can do to curb it. Really, a lot of our skilled manpower, they are, they are, they are really clean. And uh, the rate at which they are moving to other countries is really alarming. And it's worrisome because it's affecting our own economy. So we need to look at what can we do to ensure that even when they go out, they will come back and also contributing to the growth of the, uh, uh, the nation's development. So it's about leadership. It's about leadership. We've had good leadership that meant well for us. The leadership will be struggling every day to ensure that our currency, our Naira, remains, remains valuable, remains in the committee of currencies. Yeah, to do it. Once there's power, you can see people do some um, minor industries can come up, people can earn livings from there and then. This issue of running away will reduce, it will reduce. And then uh, if the environment is okay again, uh, their job, people will be working. Nobody wants to live abroad, I must tell you that. When we visit, you find it, you want to run back to your country. The sign here is that our best brains are leaving the shores of the country. And it's uh, affecting productivity. And if your house is comfortable for you, you don't readily go out and leave the house. You go and come back. So uh, it is a situation where values are not appreciated and you cannot cage a value. So people are going out to where the values can be appreciated and all that. So the, the government, the people, especially the government, uh, these are the people who have the opportunity, the privileges, the money, the resources to put this in place. So they should develop structures that can make people learn here in Nigeria, uh, stay here in Nigeria, and their learning or their years in education or whatever talent they have is appreciated and will grow our economy.